last big speech time. I want to thank you for the last few months. This is going back to 1986. Anybody have anything they want to say? The final speech yeah. from the movie for Hoosiers. And that's where we're going this morning with basketball in the air. Let's bring him in, film study professor Joe Fortunato. Joe, good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, everybody. And, yeah, you hit it right there on the head, uh, or right in the basket, I should say. Uh, <laughs> in celebration of March Madness, we decided to look back at the classic film Hoosiers, one of the uh, more beloved basketball films, even though it deals with high school basketball. Uh, it was released uh, November 10th, 1986, as a preview in Indiana, and then it went wide uh, nationally the following February in 1987. Directed by David Ansbaugh and written by Angelo Pinto. It stars, of course, Gene Hackman, as you just uh, heard in the clip there, Barbara Hershey, Dennis Hopper. It had two Oscar nominations. One for supporting actor for Dennis Hopper, the other for music. It was ranked number four on the AFI's list of greatest films in the genre of sports. Hmm. So it's uh, ranked very high in the sports category. It was also ranked in the 100 Years, 100 Cheers listing of top 100 most inspiring films. There it ranked number 13, which, by the way, was the highest among any film not nominated for Best Picture. So all the other uh, 12 through 1 were Best Picture nominees. So uh, it's uh, a beloved film. Uh, I mentioned that Dennis uh, Hopper was uh, nominated for Best Actor, and that was his only Oscar-nominated performance of his career. And he sort of privately admitted to friends and colleagues that he thought the Academy probably nominated him for the wrong movie that year. He thought he should have been nominated for his performance in Blue Velvet, which was the same year. And I kind of agree with him, actually. Um, the movie itself was renamed Best Shot. In, uh, that was the title in some international markets because most people outside of the U.S. didn't know what a Hoosier was. Uh, and for those who don't know, of course, a Hoosier is uh, someone who was born in Indiana or lives there. But uh, around the world, people don't know what a Hoosier was, so they renamed the film Best Shot. And Gene Hackman himself um, didn't really think this movie was going to go anywhere. In fact, he was pretty, pretty curmudgeonly about it during uh, filming. Uh, on the last day of filming, he said, I just want you to be prepared for the fact that this film might get a few screens here in Indiana, and then it'll end up in the dustbin of films that ever made, and the only people that are ever going to remember it are you two. And he was talking to uh, the director and Dennis Hopper. He goes, I hope I forget it when my plane lands in Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, so he was he was pretty curmudgeonly about it. In fact, uh, the, um, the director said that before filming began, he was really excited to work with Gene Hackman, he said he was the coolest guy to hang out with. He was funny, irreverent, had great stories. But then once shooting start uh, started, he didn't really recognize him. He said he became an entirely different person. He just made uh, life very difficult on set, which uh, he was very negative. So that's, uh, uh, I don't know what was going on in his life at the time. But uh, obviously the movie, uh, Gene wasn't right, and the movie uh, became a hit and, and a beloved classic. And, and uh, um, you know, the rest, as they say, is basketball and movie history. Joe, the the movie too loosely based on what a team from Indiana, a small school, uh, and they had to go and move around with the filming and the players. And I love really the behind the scenes stories. You and I could probably go on and on with this and putting this movie together. But the the way it was all done with the crowd and everything, just just terrific. Yeah, the uh, the gym actually that serves as the Hickory Gym in the movie, is a real high school gym in Knightstown, Indiana. Uh, it's known as the Hoosier Gym, and it's uh, it served as the Knightstown High School uh, Gymnasium from 1921 to 1966. It's actually still open, and I don't think they're using it for uh, high school anymore, but it's still open and available to be rented for basketball games uh, or, I guess, pretty much any other event. It's still decorated in the style and colors of the movie, so... Uh, you know, it's, it's sort of preserved there. Uh, one other sort of behind the scenes story, Steve Holler, who played, uh, basketball for DePaul University at the time of the filming, he was one of the, the, the players uh, on the team. When the movie was released, he, um, the NCAA wanted to, just think how times have changed when I tell this story. 
the NCAA wanted to penalize him for playing basketball for money because he played that character in the movie. They eventually ruled that he had been hired as an actor, not a basketball player, but he still got a three-game suspension, and it was told to return 5% of his pay. Um, Unbelievable. Other, you know, we like to talk about casting. Jack Nicholson actually wanted to play uh, Coach Norman Dale. That's the, the role that uh, hmm. Gene Hackman got. But he was serving as a witness on a lawsuit, and it sidelined him for six months, so he couldn't do the, the film. Uh, speaking of Dennis Hopper, Dennis Hopper uh, famously was friends with James Dean and worked with James Dean a couple of times as a young man. And when in a scene where Hopper stumbles out onto the basketball court drunk, during the sectional game, Hopper wanted a 10-second notice before the director called action because he wanted to spin around for 10 seconds, allowing him to stagger under the court and appear drunk. And he got this technique from James Dean in Giant when James Dean asked uh, director George Stevens for 30 seconds so he could spin around to better feel the inebriation. So a little, little bit of acting uh, uh, insight there from uh, Dennis Hopper, courtesy of James Dean. Wonderful flick for sure. 1986 Hoosiers and Gene Hackman, Dennis Hopper, Barbara Hershey. Right, Joe? This is the time to dig that one out again, isn't it? Definitely is. All right. There you go. Hoosiers today as we go to film school with Joe Fortunato, film study professor with us at WAKR. Joe, great job again, my friend. Always appreciate the time. We'll, We'll do it again next week. Okay, I look forward to it. See you then. You got it. There you go. Joe Fortunato, film study professor, joins us Friday mornings at Film School on WAKR.